Hey people, Duncan here, Mad Issues in America. I'll talk to you, real talk, America, racism in America. Let me talk to you for a minute. Social injustices. Let me talk, okay? Check this out. You want to know about social injustices? Here's the social injustices. It's an injustice that the same people you vote for is the party that enslaved your people. Social injustice? Social injustice is when you allow these people who enslaved your, your people to create laws that segregate you, stifle you, and yet you still vote for them. It's a social injustice that these people don't want you to be segregated and he still voted for him. It's social injustice that these people wanted to send jobs, your jobs, to Mexico. Jobs from the inner cities, which created poverty in your inner cities. Poverty led to drugs, crime. It's a shame. It's a social injustice that the same people you voted for allowed the open borders that brought illegals in gangs in, illegal weapons, and more drugs into your poverty-stricken inner cities. It's a social injustice that more, more of your inner city youth became drug addicted, alcohol addicted, lived in a gang life, drop out of schools, schools that are infected with gangs, violence, drugs. Your youth go to the streets they get arrested for pushing drugs. They get shot for gang banging. They shoot each other over the color of a rag. That's a social injustice. It's a social injustice that the good kids, the good kids can't go to school to get a good education because too many gang bangers are there selling drugs and shooting places up. Okay, that's a social injustice. It's a social injustice that when innocent people get caught in the crossfire of gang fights and they have cops show up, that they're caught and they're shot and they're killed in the line of duty. That's a social injustice along with all the other people caught in the misfire and the crossfire. Those are all social injustices. So you want to sit there and talk to me about prejudicism, racism because of some social injustice? Talk to me about white privilege in America? Let me tell you one thing. White people don't go around shooting each other up over the color of a damn rag. Okay, keep that in mind, number one. Okay, number two, you want to talk about social injustices. Do you know the number one arrested people in this country are white people? They're arrested because of drugs, usually methamphetamines or heroin. Okay, our system, our prison systems are being overfilled with narcotic felons who are predominantly white. Okay, so then you talk about, oh, heinous crimes per capita. Okay, well, let's talk about the fact that the minority group, the black minority group, which is another social injustice that these people are killing each other a quarter of each other out in the streets. And another quarter is killed in the abortion clinics that you people voted for. So see, as I sit here and I watch my game of football, my beloved NFL get corrupted by this social agenda, this idea that somehow you're inferior to me, that somehow I should feel bad for you because you, in fact, think you're inferior to me. You're not inferior to me and I am not better than you. We have all struggled. We have all had hard times. We have all had hardships. We all get harassed by the police. The fact of the matter is there is no life in this matter that there is no life that matters in this country more than the other. That's the simple fact. Unless you've got money to get away with murder, O.J. Simpson, who was black, you do not matter. So let's be simple on this. In the pursuit of... The idea that all lives should matter in this country, we must understand that right now none of us freaking matter. And as long as we're willing to do the same bullshit we do every day, willing to kill each other every day over race, religion, over politics, it doesn't matter. None of us matter. 
This is their goal. They want to keep us separate. They want to keep us divided. Why do you think why do you think the only people asking you what race, religion and gender you are are the is the people who you ask jobs for, the people you go get assistance from, the United States government and all their little black ties and red tape. They're the ones that want to know what separate us. They're the ones that want to put us in different categories to label us, to pit us against each other. We shouldn't vote on party. We should vote on ideals. We shouldn't vote candidates with skin color. We should vote candidates who can better America. It's easy to sit around and blame people where you are because of what? Your skin? You're better than that. You're tougher than that. You want to blame somebody that something happened 200 years ago in this country? Well, guess what? That's another BS line because it happened to my people too. The Irish people were here as well as slaves. They were treated worse than your people. They were much less expensive. So what's the real social injustices in this country? Let's talk about affirmative action. Let's talk about the Rooney law or, or the, the uh, Rooney rule in the football. Let's talk about the fact that all that, that all NFL teams must must interview a colored head coach before hiring the one they want. Let's talk about affirmative action that gives people of color more of an advantage than it gives me. You see, we want to believe that somehow white privilege is in every white American. But last I checked, when I go to the homeless centers and I volunteer to hand out food and hand out coffee and to hand out soup, I see people of all colors. But you know who I see most of all? White people. So when I look at the drug clinics, you know who I see most of all? The white people. So, I'd love to know where this white privilege is. Because when I look at the NFL, I see predominantly black people. When I see the NBA, I see predominantly black people. These are rich, high market money. These are millionaires. When I look and I see successful business people who are black, I think, what oppression. When I see a person that has color, who gets a C and is allowed to get a passing grade in college because of affirmative action, while my C plus gets me kicked out because I'm not among the top of the class. You see, you can't complain about equality and then turn around and make it one-sided. The truth is we're all victims in this country. If, because we've all been led to believe we should hate each other. The truth is, united we stand, divided we fall. The truth is, there's no reason why there should be poverty in our inner cities. The truth is, we should all have jobs, we should all be working, there should be little, little, little to no need for welfare. The truth is, is, our kids should be able to go to schools and get a good education, because we don't have drugs and criminals shooting them in, in our classrooms. The truth is, America should be great. But we need to stand together to make it great again. Because it's gone astray. We've been led to believe it's okay to kill each other over the color of a rag. Led to believe it's okay to kill each other or to hate each other because of a skin color or a gender. We may not disagree on a lot of things. We may disagree on a lot of things in this country. That's what makes America so great. The idea of politics is to get people to rally behind what you believe in. And to get the votes necessary to push what you believe in. So when a candidate wins in office like President Trump won... 
The idea was the people stood up and said, we are tired of being subverted. We are tired of being unemployed. We are tired of being killed in our own cities. We must stand to make America great again. We must stand united in every state, in every county. We must stand against illegal immigration, sanctuary statuses. We must end these corrupt big family names. We must get governors in office who wish to make real change, American change, change that will give Americans back their voice in this country. Follow me as I, Mark Duncan, attempt to run as Oregon's next governor. I will be Oregon's next governor. And it's because the American people have had enough of the liberal left lies. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Duncan out.